Photos can take a lot of space, but are only relevant if they're evidence to back up your written descriptions. Take photos of common dispute items and defects, not everything. When conducting your inspection report, make sure you use the 10 photos you can take of the general overview of the room or utilize your 360 degree image. So, I'm in the kitchen now, I'm in the general overview room, so I'm just gonna take my 10 photographs to utilize the photos I can take. So it's good practice to get a photo of each corner of the room, one of the ceiling, one of the floor, one of the door, and those photos will get loaded into the general overview of your room. This then reduces the amount of photos you need to take of other items in that room if they're in a good condition. If the template has said the door is free of marks and scratches the front side of reverse, plus you've also had a snap of the door in the general overview, either as a standard or 360 degree image, then there's no need to take another five photos of the door because you've already captured that in your general overview. So I'm gonna take the photographs of the door here, but as you can see, there's no need because I've already marked it as good condition, I've captured it in my general overview, and it slows down your reporting time. The exception being, it's good to take photos of items that end in common dispute. So always have snaps of before and after comparisons. Examples being ovens, extractor hoods, sinks, toilets, showers, bathrooms, etc. So a top tip is to take relevant photos, not photos of anything.